In this video, I will show you how to research your Steam game progress. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see on Steam. Now, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is come up to the top left-hand corner and press on Steam up here. Next on the drop-down menu, just go ahead and select settings. And from here, you wanna to come to this menu on the left-hand side. Now, if you click onto cloud, and what you wanna do first is click this button over here, which says enable Steam Cloud. So you wanna disable this first of all. So once that's done, what you can do is close this window down and then come up to the top left-hand corner and press onto library. Next, what you're gonna to want to do is come over to your games library on the left-hand side, and you want to select a game that you want to delete your save game progress for. So in this example, I'm gonna go for Tabletop Simulator. Now, all you need to do is right-click onto the game in the game library, and come down and click onto Properties. This is gonna bring up a window like this, and from here, come over to this menu on the left-hand side, and press onto Installed Files. Next, what you wanna do is at the very top where it says Next Size of Installation, you're gonna see a Browse button here, so go ahead and give this a click, and that's to go ahead and open up the game folder. So here we are in the actual game folder. Now I've not actually got any save games on this particular game. However, if you do, you will see a folder called saves or save games or something like that. And all you need to do is simply go ahead and delete that folder from the game folder. Once that's done, once you next start a game, you will be able to play the game fresh from brand new and you'll be able to go ahead and start a new game. So that's how to go ahead and delete your save game progress on a Steam game. I hope this tutorial did help you out today and if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next video.